All right, thank you, Brett. The criminal justice system in the state of Texas is overwhelmed. Overcrowding and understaffing are just some of the issues sheriffs are working to overcome. CBS 18 anchor Marangeli Lopez got inside jails to see some solutions at work. Here's part two of our investigation inside East Texas jails. Tonight, we begin in Nacogdoches County where inmates with a record of good behavior are welding together 32 new bunk beds. It's going to raise our, our inmate count from 292 to a threshold of 324 inmates, which we can house inside the Nacogdoches County Jail and be in compliance with jail standards. The idea to build more bunk beds to house more inmates came after Nacogdoches County became non-compliant. In an investigation by the Texas Commission on Jail Standards, the jail exceeded their capacity in January. Sheriff Jason Bridges explains how the overcrowding issue is directly related to understaffing. And the more inmates you have, the more staffing you have to have. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of been our problem. Uh, we, we've had a problem. We, we've kind of, you know, we, we've had a problem placing inmates in other jails because they're having the same situations. With more beds and new hires, Bridges can maintain the required one jailer to 48 inmate ratio, which is the jail standard. Anything like that? In Rust County, Sheriff John Wayne Valdez says his issue is also staffing. And I'm actively looking for people to hire for the jail staff. That will raise my ability to house inmates up to 196. If Valdez increases his staff, he can help neighboring counties by housing inmates awaiting prosecution. He's actively recruiting with the help of Lieutenant Cassandra Shaw. So finding a qualified applicant to come and work in a jail in environment is very, very difficult. Shaw says she's seeing more people with mental health needs get booked into jail. Whether they're pregnant, uh, substance abuse, uh, whether it be alcohol, drugs, uh, domestic violence, you just have more people that have more mental health issues that we have to address. In fact, all three counties I spoke to are reporting the same. Rust County houses 133 inmates, and of those, 49% require mental health care. Nacogdoches County houses 318, and 40% also require care. Comparing those to a much larger jail in Smith County, who as of this afternoon had 1,114 inmates. Only 15 there require care, but that's still about 167 people who need help. Advocates say increasing mental health care in our communities will prevent incarceration. We have criminalized homelessness. We have criminalized substance use disorders. We have criminalized disabilities. Texas Jail Project is an organization that advocates for people inside county jails. Krish Gundu thinks the problem starts outside. And instead of really focusing on how to strengthen and fund the systems on the outside to prevent their entry into the punishment systems, we keep talking about what's wrong in the county jails. Gundu says people with substance abuse problems or mental health disabilities should be in a rehab facility, not jail. Local sheriffs agree. Jails have become a dumping ground for everybody else's issues that they can't handle. We have a lot of mental health patients here. They don't need to be here. They need to be in a hospital. They're in there because they broke the law in some capacity. They're mentally ill, okay? You know, you know what has to happen next? They have to sit in our jail for three years waiting to be rehabilitated where they can be prosecuted. That's an atrocity. That should never happen. But it's happening. So is there a solution? What's going on wrong with county jails is a symptom of what's gone wrong with the way that we have prioritized health care in the community. We've got to do something. But the getting a facility, getting, getting brick and mortar is not the big issue. It's the renewable cost every year of funding the personnel uh, the, 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 short, the shortage of psychologists and psychiatrists. From speaking to sheriffs and advocates alike, the consensus is that there's a lot to be done to improve our county jails. For now, jails are focusing on exceeding the standards to ensure quality of life for people who are waiting their prosecution. I'm Maranjali Lopez, CBS 19. New tonight, Longview.